How's it going, Joe? It's big, good. big week for you, man. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. Big week for us, bro. Big week for all of us, yeah. man. This yeah. isn't an individual thing. Yeah, this, no, is, this is for all of us. No no pressure. No pressure, mm-hmm. right? No pressure. Uh, I guess my first question is, um, there's this one quote from Brian Cranston that always stuck with me where he said that comedians have an easier time becoming dramatic actors than dramatic actors becoming comedic actors. Yeah. As a comedian, do you feel like there's any truth to that? Oh, 100%. Yeah. And I mean, look who said it, the goat, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so um, 100%. Like, if you really see someone on stage comedically, right, like doing stand-up comedy, it's like, you know, getting into a character like my mother, it's mm-hmm. like, that's not easy, you know? <laughs> like, I really become her and it's like I wouldn't do it any justice if I didn't yeah if I did a horrible uh impersonation of my mom then I wouldn't be happy with myself nor would I do that you know I wouldn't tell those stories I just wouldn't so I feel like that skill set alone is like what he's talking about it's it's key because it's always the timing right it's the timing out oh, timing comedically like yeah just being able to turn situations into comedy and then not only that becoming a character on stage is that's that to me is like the most fun. Like I enjoy watching that happen. I enjoy watching Eddie Murphy become his Aunt Bunny oh, or his yeah. Uncle Gus or yeah. his mom. Like I love that. Like all these characters. I love it. Yeah. Now, now that you have a taste of acting, is there something that you want to do part time or full time when the right, you know? Oh, this is everything. This is, is full time. We're not done with this one. Oh, nice. Oh, we're not done, man. It took it took thirty three years to open this door, and I'm keeping it wide open. So. And it's not just for me, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's for all of us, it's, right? I'm going to keep yeah. grabbing people. I, I don't know if you ever watched In His Elements, you know what I mean? Oh, when I yeah, went to the Philippines, but that, that's what that was all about. Like, you know, it took me a long time to get in there and, and I wanted to show people our culture, our, you know, our community. And I want to keep doing that with this. It's like, I don't want to just stop here and I don't want to be specific. I don't want to just make Filipino movies. I want to make every ethnicity. I want to, I want to give everyone a shot and give everyone a voice. Now, with that said, in this whole cinematic landscape right now, you know that superhero movies are king. Yeah. So is there... But how dope that Amblin put me in the most... Oh, yeah. Look at the slot they put me in. Look who surrounded me, man. Jurassic Park, Thor, Minions. Dude. uh, And Jurassic World, I'm sorry. Yeah, and it's... Oh, and then, of course, Spielberg is the the guy that that blessed this movie for me and gave me this deal. It's like ride back and... DreamWorks, Universal. It's like, this is amazing that that the trust and the love is put into this film. And and, and we're right, what, what you said, yeah. right in the heart of all this action. You yeah, know what I mean? Man. Oh, Maverick is going on right now. So it's yeah. like, we're, we're right in the heart of it. So what was that meeting like with Spielberg? Was it like meeting, you know, God? I'm going <laughs> to jump right on top of you and tell you what it was like real fast. It was, my special came out. Right, the my yeah, second one coming in hot, hot. Yeah. and then we get a phone call from Amblin. They bring us in, and every single person at Amblin was like, "Stephen can't stop talking about you." Oh my God, Stephen can't stop talking. Oh, Stephen loves you. Stephen loves your special. So, and you hear that like nine times, and I'm like, "Are you talking about Stephen from accounting? <laughs> like, who are you talking about? There's no way you're talking about Mr. Spielberg. It's yeah. impossible." Yeah. As you're passing all these things in his office, you see Indiana Jones, you see ET stuff, you see all these all these things that he's done, all these iconic films. And, and then he's talking about you. And I was just like, it was the most amazing thing. And they were like, he wants to make a movie. And I pitched him Easter Sunday. They bought it in the room and, and here we are. It's like a fairy tale. It really is a fairy tale. Start from the bottom. Now we're here, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. 